I remounted the CAN capacitor and then restored the wiring as it was originally. I also now have the proper capacitor in here. If you recall that was supposed to be a 0 .005 but at the time I only had a 0 .004 on hand. Well the correct value is in there now. And uh, that just leaves the power cord. I unsoldered that temporary power cord I put in place. And I am now going to dig up a, uh, a new plug to put on the end of this one. It's not quite such so shoot up. I've attached the new plug to the end of the cord. The old cord is a bit stiff, but the insulation seems pretty sound, so I'm going to use it. I've attached the antenna back on the radio, so let's plug this in and see how it sounds now. Metallica. Must be an FM mode right now. The trust depends or Winners tonight of the Memphis Grizzlies, Houston. Many, 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 many nights. I wake up in the middle. Actually, no. I think this is AM mode. So it must be an AM station that's actually playing music. And Metallica at that. So the AM antenna is working just fine. Trying to get as much as you can in that punt. Rashad Evans. And there's a U of I game. I think the Blackhawks are playing tonight as well. Exclusive presentation of ISP. America's home for college sports. Well, Waiting for something good to happen here near the end of this game. There's a Blackhawk still. Yeah, let's try the FM band. Okay. Okay. Let's see if you're working fine too. So electrically, uh, I'd say this restoration is done. Still some cosmetic work to do, of course, because the dial pointer is missing. But otherwise, I'm really impressed with uh, all those radios working. I've never worked with this old of an FM radio, and uh, I uh, was curious to, as to how well it would work, but uh, it works just fine. I don't even have an antenna hooked up, by the way. Right now, by the way, there's no FM antenna. So it's just picking that up just through this uh, twin lead in the uh, screw terminals there. So, excellent reception. Okay, now that the radio is done, I have finished restoring this device as well. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can use this to troubleshoot a radio.